Well, this is one of those wonderful times of year when you can get fresh figs. Fresh figs, yeah. Now, you can't always get fresh figs, but when you can't get fresh figs, I like to do this also with kiwi. Mm -hmm. And what you want to look for is a really nice, juicy, ripe fruit. That's the best thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of these slices of prosciutto di parma, and we're going to wrap the figs or the kiwi in the prosciutto di parma. Oh, that's a good idea. But you know, it's, it's uh, it reminds me so much that even though these kiwi might seem like it might be strange for people to use because they don't think of it a lot in Italian cooking, right? They actually grow a lot of kiwi in Emilia Romagna. Did you know they that they grow yeah. a ton of yeah. kiwi in Roma Emilia Romagna? Yeah. It's interesting. So you're just wrapping the figs up. Just wrapping, making little okay. bundles. You don't have to be particularly neat. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use toothpicks or any kind of complicated uh, okay. uh, holding tool because we're going to cook these yes. in a little bit of butter okay, and I've olive got, oil. I've got your butter and olive oil going right here in this little pan. And while you're doing it, this, this is the easiest appetizer in the world. I would say that that would be one portion. Okay, that would be what you would serve one per person. Okay. So, one, uh, two figs uh -huh. and two slices of prosciutto di parma mm -hmm. is what we used. And just cook them in a little butter. And then to present this, mm -hmm. we are going to take and put um, some snow, a little bit of a snow of Parmigiano Reggiano on I this like plate. I like that image. Yeah, well, this is this is the, one of those beautiful micro planes. And to me, this just looks like snow. And it's what's pretty. going to be fun about this dish is that the warmth of the prosciutto going to stick to that. It's right? going to make this stick to it. I think this is ready. It looks good to me. There's and you just set it right down onto the snow. Mm. Am I doing this right? You're doing, I it's perfect. Make sure I it's... want a little bit of caramelization yeah, of the prosciutto have. di parma. That looks good. And then you can serve this with a fork as an individual platter. Yeah. Or you could make it for a crowd mm -hmm. and put some little picks into it so that people can pick these up. That's a, it's so fast. It's very nice. That's a beautiful presentation. And I see how the cheese is clinging right to that. That's great. Mm -hmm.